Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Code channel. In this video we will be going over arrays in JavaScript, so let's just get right into it. So an array is a way to notate a list-like um, object. So there's a couple of ways we can create an array. So the first way, which I showed in the for loop video, is to create an array like this. So you just say const array equals, and then an array is just two squared brackets, and then you end it. So an array can hold certain elements. So we can, for instance, put information inside of this array, which we can display if we want it to. So let's say we want to add our name, um, Sebastian. And then we add the name, uh, Jeff. And the name, um, let's see. How about Richard? So we just created a array which holds three elements. So each item separated by a comma is one element so we have my name jeff and richard what can we use this array for well there's a couple of things that we can use it for so first thing is that we can lock the entire array so let's say we would lock array we can go to our console we would see sebastian jeff and richard you might notice that I have a little error right here. This is because of some stupid thing that I can't seem to fix. Just don't mind it. It's not something to do with my code. But as you can see, we have a nice little um, array right here. So let's say we want to just log Jeff in console. We can access a certain element from an array by using square brackets again and then putting a number inside of this. So let's say we want to access Jeff. Even though Jeff is the second element in your array, since we have Sebastian and then Jeff, we can't access it using two, since this will lock Richard. And I'll explain why. So an array is not indexed as you count the elements. So we don't have one, two, three. No, we count zero one two so we call that a zero indexed array so the first element is a zero the second element is a one so if we want to um, let's say log the second element we want to use array square brackets one so if we do that we would see jeff gets locked into console so let's say we want to um, access Richard, we would use two because Richard is the third element, minus one equals two. So if we do that, we would see Richard. And let's say we would say uh, three because we forgot it's zero indexed, we would see undefined since it's only three elements, minus one equals two indexes. We would see undefined since there isn't a third index which equals a fourth element. So let's say we want to um, lock the first one, we would just do zero and we would see my name. But let's say we would want to lock the last element of a very long array and we don't know how many elements there are in the array. So let's say we would add a five and eight and a one to the array. We would now, I didn't count it, I don't know how long the array is, but let's say we would want to log the last element, which is a 1. We could do this by getting the array's length. So to get an array's length, we would just say array, which is our array, dot length, which you can see right here, an unassigned 30-bit integer that specifies the number of elements in an array. So an array dot length actually logs the amount of elements in the array and not the indexes of the array. So right now we would get six, just because I know how many elements there are in this array. 
but we only have five indexes. So let's say we would get try to get array and then the length we would see undefined since array dot length returns six getting the array element at the index of six is undefined since we have zero one two three four five now easy way to get the last element is to say minus one so we get the array's length subtract one from it and we have the final index which in this case is a one so now we know how to create an array put items inside the array but we don't know how to add items to it so let's say we would want to add the number 30 we would say array dot push 30 now because we have this array dot length minus one we would immediately see 30 in console this is because array dot push adds to the end of an array so we would add something to the end instead of the front so let's say we will just log array we would see that we get this long list and 30 is at the end but let's say we would want to put it at the front we could do on shift it's one or more elements to the beginning of an array and returns the new length of the array so left if we do that we would see 30 and then all these elements so now we know how to add something to it but what if we wanted to remove something so let's say my name shouldn't be in the array we would just remove it so we say array.shift which would remove the first element of the array so if we see so if we lock this we would see jeff richard 581 even though we put in the array initially Sebastian Jeff Richard 581 so we remove the first element of the array but let's say we would say pop which is another one we would remove the last element which you can see right here so this was it for this episode if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next episode